Gorgeous night at the White House. Welcome back. The political research firm behind the controversial, unverified dossier on President Trump that helped kickstart the FBI Russia probe is finding subpoenas from the House Intelligence Committee. In a letter obtained by Fox News, Fusion GPS insists it has First Amendment rights, like a news organization, to protect its clients and sources. Tonight, we take an in-depth look at the company behind the dossier in an exclusive report. Here's Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge. Based in Washington, D.C., Fusion GPS describes itself as a strategic intelligence firm. It commissioned the controversial Trump dossier and has a track record of using intimidation and smear tactics, according to congressional testimony, statements for the record, and the first-hand account of London-based Venezuelan journalist Alec Boyd. They are particularly good at spreading misinformation, disinformation, and smears. In his first American television interview, Boy says he was targeted after his 2012 reporting on Derwick Associates, a power company with close ties to the Venezuelan government. The company allegedly skimmed nearly a billion dollars from rigged contracts with the late Venezuelan dictator Hugo Chavez. My understanding is that they were hired basically to the smear Derwick opponents. British police records show Boyd reported a break-in with two laptops stolen from his London home in November 2014. What was on the computers? Evidence about corruption and scandals. There's a lot of information about my sources, people that were believed to be collaborating and sending me information from Venezuela were assaulted in Venezuela by the intelligence police of Mr. Chavez. Did Fusion GPS come after you? They created fake Twitter accounts with my name. They produced huge amounts of information, fake information about me, accusing me from being a pedophile to being an extortionist, to a drug trafficker, to a car thief. Boyd says he believes the suspects seen in the security camera video left pictures of his children inside his coat as a warning. The message was, we know where you are, <laughs> we know where your children are. About a week after that, two sets of envelopes were sent to me from Tbilisi in Georgia, handwritten messages saying, you touched the wrong girl, you pedophile, you think no one can touch yours? Fusion GPS is led by Glenn Simpson and Peter Fritsch, who left the Wall Street Journal about a decade ago. Boyd says this document shows Fritsch traveled to Venezuela to shut down any investigative reporting into Derwick's actions. Does Fusion GPS use its credentials as former journalists? I believe they're basically cashing in the years of experience that they accumulated collectively uh, in different newspapers, in different media around the world. Do you swear? Boyd's allegations mirror congressional testimony from Bill Browder, who told senators Fusion GPS used smear tactics to discredit him and his late attorney, Sergei Magnitsky, who he says was tortured and murdered eight years ago in a Russian jail. Moreover, in a congressional declaration, human rights activist Thor Halverson said Fusion GPS used, quote, scorched earth methods. To date, Simpson has refused to reveal his sources and who paid for the Trump dossier. I don't believe certain privileges that apply to journalists or to lawyers should apply to Mr. Simpson because he's neither. He's basically a spin doctor. Fusion GPS did not respond to multiple requests for comment. A lawyer for Derwick Associates did not address its relationship with Fusion GPS or the Boyd allegations, but said the claims by a human rights activist to Congress are without merit. Brett. Continue to follow. Catherine, thank you.